Hey, what's up guys? Some of you may have noticed I've been missing from uh, getting video updates up. I've been, I've done a couple of shop updates, that type of thing, but that's about it. Um, reason is I'm just working on a bunch of stuff around here with some changes that we've got going on. Um, and it's just going to be light on time for me to get videos done. But if you guys don't mind some lower production value for the uh, meantime, I uh, can get a few updates out quickly like this, uh, this one here. So if you guys are fine with quick rough updates on things i'm happy to do those i just can't get in depth on things right now i just don't have a bunch of time but uh all good things as far as why the uh why my time is light but i did want to just show you guys what i've been working on specifically the uh desert spawn we've been calling it now you can see here this uh, long rear back kit. Now, if you had seen some of the previous videos or follow the Facebook, things like that, you'll see that I was looking at doing a desert style rear here. Now, what this is, is this is a uh, DMG, Death Metal Garage, stiffy kit. These are all custom, handmade, one-off uh, aluminum. This is, this is all aluminum. It replaces all the way down, uh, the port bars across the bottom, the windshield comes up uh, all the way back, ties in basically cuts off the cage right behind the b pillar puts in this new bulkhead and replaces everything uh rear of that now i've done them in the past and you've seen this one i've got this much larger rear tire carrier area because i'm kind of going with that desert truck look so that's why you see this back there and that is built to fit two full-size rear spare tires and uh you can kind of see how that sits there now, this stiffy kit with the new shock positions moved forward and up are to facilitate the use of those Vanquish Yeti rear trailing arms. Now, this will eventually get two rear shocks and they'll both be uh, the longer shocks out of the rear of the axial Yeti. Right now, though, that's just the stock shock. So at, a, at right height, it sits pretty, uh, pretty low with the, the nose pointing up in the air. Uh, if I was to get a better spring on there, I could get it to sit up there at ride height. Um, but I think I'm going to go with the longer Yeti shock and run it at about a 50-50 setup so that it gets that big droop out of that rear axle uh, when it when it uh, gets up in the air and whatnot. But for now, uh, this is what we've got sitting there, just kind of fun to mock up. I haven't had a bunch of time to do anything. So uh, Jerry at the DMG actually, you know, he fabricated all this. You can find him on Facebook at uh, just search the Death Metal Garage and uh, you should be able to find the RC related one. This thing will start to, to come together and get built as, uh, as I find time. I just haven't found time to, uh, to do any filming. I've got a full uh, bomb proof transmission set up here from Super Shafty and a uh, Holmes uh, Polar Pro 540 uh, brushless motor. This is uh, one that he sent me early. This is one of the prototype ones. So uh, it's kind of an in-between of, of some of the stuff that he has now, but and with that, uh, I've got my MIP drive shafts, and I'll just kind of swap out that entire stock transmission and drive shafts uh, for this one here. But that's uh, that's kind of the update on this thing. Not a ton else done so far. I did throw on the BFG uh, tires, that wheels that I had here. Um, obviously, this truck comes with the Maxxis tires, and they're sitting on the other side over there. But um, desert style wise, you know, I kind of do like those uh, the BFG tires. They kind of look like the uh, the, some of the BFG tires that they run in the desert, but uh, just kind of, you know, something to play around with there. Ultimately, I probably would like to run Voodoo's on this. I've got the Voodoo's sitting here uh, already, and I, I love those tires, so that, that may be what ends up here um, in the long run. But anyway, uh, I just want to do a quick update on this one. I thought it was, uh, I'm really kind of digging the look. It's something way different. Now, you know, if I was building a straight up crawler, which I've done before with the Wraith, with the Stiffy kit, I wouldn't have gone with this design. This design is simply because I wanted to do something different than I had done and uh, kind of go with that desert style. But that's uh, that's what we got going on so far, guys. So uh, if you're cool with uh, low production quality updates, I'll, uh, I'll keep trying to pump these out every once in a while. Uh, not much else is new around the shop from the last shop update. So uh, I'll cut this one short at this and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.